All right, y'all. So we're back at the boat ramp where we started. Area is clear. I'm just gonna search in here, right there, right, right in here. See if I can find any little items, clean some trash. So I may just make this a part two, so that way it's diving. So it's Trey Dark Divers, Kincaid uh, Lake, and we're at uh, I can't think of the little boat ramp what it's called, or called, but one of the one of the Kincaid Lake boat ramps. We're just gonna dive in here. It's not very deep. Just kind of check it out. We'll be on our way. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. I appreciate it. We're gonna continue with it. Keep doing some diving, keep doing some searching. Possibly more diving. And then that way, it's kind of a steady pace with the channel and we'll have more content, so. Thank you all. Let's get to it. It's beautiful out for the weather. It's almost October. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Anyway. almost october still got plenty of good diving weather and actually the clarity of the water usually clears up the colder it gets so get the dry suit service for sure let's get to it <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, y'all, we're out of the water. Wasn't much of a dive, but it was a dive. Used about a thousand PSI. Had to come up a couple times, just so I knew where I was at. Didn't use a grid line or anything like that. But we found an old hat, and uh, it looks like the protector for boats that wraps around the dock, whatever the heck that the name of that is. Hopefully those people are all right. It's pretty shallow through there where they're opening up at, but it's a good day. Got to run the side imaging, play with the boat. That's the hat. Oh, and it stinks. This thing's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that and the little bump stop thing, whatever it is for the dock. It's been a great day. Got a late start, like always, but it was a good day. I had fun. Hope you all had fun. And I'm running out of good places to go. I kind of did like the idea of searching this area back behind me here. Here's the boat ramp and the boat dock area. But. Just need a good place. I know of a couple places that I want to get access to, but it's private property. There's a road that goes um, in between two strip cuts. The, I mean, there's no, there's never ever had been guardrails there. So it would just be a good place to search just because. But, uh, man, I'm, it's weird. It's getting cold, but I'm liking the weather for diving. So we're gonna continue with it through the winter time. Love y'all. Just a little update to let y'all know what I've been doing, and I appreciate it. Until next time, it's Trey. I will see y'all beautiful people in the water. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please comment below. Every little comment and subscription and like helps. Share the video if you like it. Make sure that you subscribe just so you can get some notifications. Hit the notification bell if that's your thing. And don't forget to visit narcdivers.com and it uh, is 618-331-4001 618-331-4001 anything water related if you lose a boat prop, a boat motor, a boat a car heck, fishing pole 
anything that you need out of the water. I don't charge anything. Just do it strictly for fun. I'm just peaceful. Just to kind of become one with nature. I love scuba diving. That's my fun, the, my favorite part. So we're gonna do more of that just because I need to stay in the water, keep my skills updated. But anyway, until next time, it's Trey and Arc Divers. Love y'all. Peace on Earth. Stay cool. Catch y'all later.